Found it. So here we are again, a bit further up the road, and there, uh, old mill. I don't know if we're going to be able to get in, but we're just going to have a look. Hey, hello, Ricky. Hello, Ricky. <laughs> again. Look at them up there, them difficult with bricks. You know what the big metal crosses are? What? They're uh, metal rods that will go away through a building to the other side. Yeah. And they have them crosses on either side and they're bolted so they're like metal rods that hold floors up and hold bricks together like reinforcement to pull building together yeah it stopped building from falling outwards that's amazing isn't it look at that like wooden gantries at top look that yeah. that's yeah. see they've got holes in bottom look, like a trapdoor yeah that's where they'd have pulled the flower up. Yeah. If it's a flower mill, that's where they'd have pulled flour up. And then the machinery, as it goes, kind of goes downwards, you know, like it gets grind as it goes down. Yeah, look, that's like a, like, a, like a conveyor thing going all the way across, no? A little patch. I don't think it's a conveyor belt, it looks like a pipe. It's probably more of a, uh, looks more like a, uh, like a, uh, not one of these spinning traction engine pipes and that probably broke machinery and it probably went to an engine house and what's well, more why would they have the rails because somebody would probably have to walk across it sometimes fix it remember back in the day these were all like either powered by water wheels or like traction engine machinery like belt driven so they'd have like big metal uh, look at that thing over there, they? they'd have like big metal uh, spinning tubes that are like driving machines onto belts. Ow! Yeah, there's this outside fence and then there's a fence inside as well. Amazing that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're they're quite new, aren't they? Yeah. Sometimes they take the roof off them, you know, so then you don't have to pay uh, land rent. It's like there was. A, looks like there was a hole at some point. You'll find if there's going to be a hole, it'll be at this end. Yeah, they take, if you take the roof off a building, then you don't have to pay uh, rent, rent, uh, council tax on it, kind of thing. Never knew that. Mm. That's the way in there, look. Over that. That's the way in over there, look. Over this one? Yeah, that's another. Are you going to get back over? Well, like that. I know, yeah. Well, that's all things you need to consider, you see. You normally find it's easier to get back out than it is to get in. Oh, look at that over there, look. Yeah. That's amazing. Shame, look. Can't imagine how many immigrants you could have you're housing all this. Thousands. Be a good prison, wouldn't it? Looks like a prison, actually. Oh, God. Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Oh shed. Yeah. An old shed. That's, that's the house that you were worried about. Farmer coming in. Looks like there was one there and they've knocked it down. We'll just walk all the way around and then back to that way now, then that back down the path if you want. Yeah. Should have brought dogs, shouldn't I? It's an train line over there. Right, what you're about to see is what happens when you don't do your research 
and you go on a random explore not knowing what you're getting yourself into as me and Ricky did in this video hope you enjoy 50% battery so I have to make it quick Right, so after a big climb, me and Ricky's managed to get into this old uh, flour mill. That's tough. Ooh, I think we've only bolted shut, but I think I'll still do a bolt to get out. It's like Victorian, isn't it? I can't really go out that door because if we do it, it'll just take us back into it. Do you want to do first floor or go upstairs? Yeah, do it. Look, I think everybody's been in here for a long time. Keep this door shut. This is ice. <laughs> Oh, there's cobwebs all over though. Oh, somebody's been sleeping in here. Oh my god. Now that is fucked up. That is fucked up, innit? Who's been sleeping in here like that? Oh, there is absolute spiders everywhere. <laughs> somebody's been sleeping in here, look. Look at this, somebody's been sleeping in here. Like a prison. That's some gangster shit, that isn't it? Yeah, that's not. That's not normal, is it? That? Oh, why is would it there be a double? Why would there be a single bed in here? We've got three beds, haven't we? Somebody's oh, made them up. Yeah, two, two for kids and two for adults. So somebody's been hiding in here. That is fucking weird, mate. Like drop, yeah, some sort of lift. Stairs, I think. Or is it? Yeah, the stairs. Yeah, the stairs going up as well. Mm -hmm. They're not to go up ladder then. Oh, look at that. Thank you. That's awesome. Do not drop down. Oh, I got something done. This is awesome. At least we found a decent explorer anyway. So yeah, we've uh, we've got into this old mill. And it's massive. You've probably seen from outside shoots. We've just come up to the second floor in this building. It was very hard to get in. We got through an hole like this, big believe it or not. The rest of it is sealed up really tight. Look, what the fuck is this about? Why is the an adult single, a child single? Well, it's a divan bed, isn't it? But it's been made into a so adult child, adult child, who the fuck has been hiding? It's the small single bed, isn't it? It's tiny. Who's been hiding in here? Why would somebody be there? You know what you need to do, Dan? Check, check the drawers. No, thank you. There's probably bodies in them. Probably somebody on front. Probably not somebody on front, front, please. That's pool prints, no? Yeah, probably police dog or guard dog's been in. Or a fox. Probably, probably more likely a guard dog. Yeah, we're not allowed to sit it on you anyway. All we can do is escort us off. It's some sort of shoot for a conveyor belt look. Oh yeah, man. Oh. You're a pigeon, mate. When I did that swim bath, that's all I could hear is pigeons. Just be careful where you step stepping. Oh, uh, did you bring your phone? Oh, yeah, that's all right. I didn't bring, bring mine. Oh, this is mad. This is like old Victorian style, isn't it? Three pigeons. Oh, I keep getting cobwebs across my legs. I'm gonna send you first next time. Hey? Hey, These pigeons pattering about. The toilets. Loads of pigeons. More toilets. Just toilets then. That second floor looks a bit fucked. That third floor, sorry. Yeah. 
Look at beams though it's made out of. Do some big heavy machinery in here back in the day. Bet there's been some accidents in here. Might even be some ghosts in here. Oh dear, I don't think we'll be going through this bit. Oh, oh, looks like it's just gone upside down. A long way down. Yeah, I'm not walking across that. Not a chance. Just be careful if you're going to recover this. Oh, nice. Oh, just look there, it's right dropped. <laughs> Yeah. You can't get through the door on the other side. Yeah. Is it safe to walk over? Isn't it? Um, it's a door. I'm going to shit those pigeons up here. Right there. Oh, there's a guy. This is scary. Oh, nice and solid. Solid. Just one at a time. Not really a bit does it? Thing with pigeon shit, it, it rocks everything. Oh fuck hell! Oh, we don't know. There's no boards on windows up here either. The stairs are all right, but the uh, the floor in here might be a bit dodgy. Try and walk over to that bit over there because I'm not sure where them stairs go. Careful, mate. Yeah, if you don't want to come, I'll, I'll walk across first. Yeah, the pigeon shit rocks the floor, you yeah, see. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to walk on the beams though, that I can see. Because once I'm over there, I'll be alright. Very risky. It's not worth it. It's alright, that actually. See outside now. Oh, yeah, man. That's the door through to the other side, look. I don't know if it opens. It is open. I'm going to check this out first. This place is massive. This is like one of probably, I think there's about eight or nine of these buildings. They're just, they're absolutely vast. Where these stairs go? These stairs are a spiral, they go all the way up. These stairs go all the way up. Shh. Oh. There's a van. Oh God, there's a van here. Coming in. I thought I'd put these uh, little snippets in so you can kind of get a gist of what's happening. Uh, 
so basically we was on the way back from the uh, JCB graveyard uh, and we've come past this massive massive building uh, it looked look, look like gothic it was just vast and uh, it, it obviously abandoned we didn't know what it was I thought it was a flour mill but it turned out it was the bass malt the bass maltings where they used to make beer for bass uh, and process all the the barley and hops or whatever they use so in our infinite wisdom we decided to go and have a look it was very well fenced off barbed wire there was some cameras knocking about and signs for guard dogs but you see that everywhere you go so we just assumed oh, it's so we walked around it and we found a, a way over the fence there was no barbed wire on it it was a small fence and uh, we hopped over it uh, to have a look see if there was a way in uh, unbeknownst to us this place is one of the most secure places that I've ever been uh, there was a hole in the wall uh, which was a very small hole probably just it was just big enough for me to fit through and we and on the other side there's a bit of a drop but we got through it and uh, we began the explore walking around this derelict building we'd only done there was bear in mind there was probably 10 of these buildings massive buildings and more uh, we'd only done like the first three three or four floors of this building and uh, as you'll see in the video the <laughs> suddenly a we had a car pull up and brake skid. Well, this place is fenced off both ends. There's no way for a car to get through. So it must have been. So, so we thought it was security. So I'll let you watch on. No, it's nice. It's uh, scary. Should go. Yeah, we'll climb up. Wait a little. Don't let that. Go. Can I climb up that? First, don't you? There's a way to make it out. Ah! 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 Ah!
We just jumped on the Yeah, I reckon you have to hold us there. Check the water problem as you go, so. Right, we've been here. We're on the way. And you'll have to deal with the consequences. We've been here for a while, don't we? You have, because you're camera, mate. Alright. We're not causing any damage or anything, we're just filming. We're just filming that bit. And it's trespass. And yes, trespass isn't a criminal offence. If it was one of you. Two, this class is mass trace pass, which is a criminal offence. I didn't know that. Well, you do know. Ah, 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 Walk up to the ah, door. Ah, Bring us this ah, Come in. Ah, ah. 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 Sorry, we're only... We're all, I'm from we're Doncaster. Back. Well, we're we're back. Back. Stay there. Oh, man. Okay, so we check this out regularly. The fence appears to have been cut. Well, we, like we, we jumped on the fence, we, we, obviously we didn't cut yeah. it, you can well, see. Right, exactly. yeah. right, this is criminal damage, we have got the right to contain your suspicion of criminal damage, which we'll do. The old dog can come and deal with it, if they feel fit to arrest it, it's up to them, it's not up to us. Um, right, we haven't cut anything, we've got nothing to cut anything. <laughs> nah, we just no. jumped on the fence because we've no barbed wire on it. Well, items can be discarded. Yeah. Yeah. Back to a building search, we have floors. Oh, 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 we're not going to run, mate, I promise you. <laughs> it's not for long. My yeah, car's we're parked we're over there, we're not going far. Your yeah. <laughs> car's parked over there, is Yeah. Mark, <laughs> got the red keys. We were secure, but we didn't play the light. I think it was going to be like this, yeah. lad. Come on in, gentlemen. Down the block, yeah? Yeah. So at this point, you can see Two security guys have turned up. Uh, accusing us of uh, breaking and entering and all this bollocks. Uh, as you watch on, you'll see how uh, the situation is secure. The board was literally lent up against me, wasn't it? And we didn't point. Yeah, come on, mate, thank you. Yeah, the board is lent up with the metal across it. No, we we'll so, what you I picked you up on camera as you've come in. I've seen you go in there, but I've not seen you come out. So yeah. You've got in through the holes. Then you've got into the building. Yeah. Yeah, we just soak up outside rather than that was an Please don't arrest that, get us arrested. <laughs> I've got wife and kids to go home to, right? Yeah, because you have obviously uh, CRB checks then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nasty RB checks, so an yeah. offence of criminal damage, even on restorative justice order, could be enough to lose your job. Yeah, right. you could, could do any criminal right. damage. So, right. absolutely. Urban exploring, I don't get it. Alright, the second thing is you've gone into a building that's we'll inherently well. dangerous. Eh? Right. We'll do a ghost something they as well. don't exist. <laughs> Ghosts don't exist. Can you prove it? I'm so it doesn't exist, does it? I'm scared to go and bring my wife quickly. Is that okay? Okay, calm down mate. Don't, don't it's all done. Yeah. It's all done. All we're going to do now is get you escorted off site. He needs to check that building first. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. You get this a lot. I was quite impressed to be fair. What with? The building itself. Is it an old flower mill? It used to be a brewery. A brewery? I thought it was a flower mill. You're right. It's a bit, it's never been that, it's a bit of a place. I'm a bit of a toe rag in my younger days, so I'm not too. Where are they coming from? Lincoln. <laughs> Cop shop around the corner. Oh, is there? No, that's not that bad. Cleaford. Excuse my attire, gentlemen. Yeah, right. Ah, he wasn't on shift. I was watching the glorious Manchester United. Oh, sorry, it's a Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, we didn't actually come down here to do this either. We come down here to look at the army vehicles on the runway. Oh, wait, yeah, they got permission. And we got to go we met with the farmer and got permission and uh, had a look around that. And then Where's that folding? 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 Yeah, somewhere like that. Two miles away. Mm -hmm. Way back, we've seen this as we're driving past the corner there. Yeah, see the signs? Right. Say caution dog patrol. Yeah, well, you see them everywhere, don't you? You've definitely yeah, got dogs on You've definitely got dogs on there. Yeah. Got I got said to him because see dog, dog footprints, I was like, hmm. Why is there three there, beds you know? up there? Three beds in there? Yeah, those three beds are for when we use uh, bed bug detection dogs. Oh, okay, cool. So he said to him, probably that's all immigrants. Test you of bed bugs into one of them, the dog will detect it. Oh, cool. We thought there thought was some sort of... Uh, Mafia connection or something. Do you have any ID, gentlemen? I don't nice know. I've got my bank card. Okay. <coughs> my door key. My phone. As you can see, we uh, both shit a pants and uh, uh, we, we thought it was, first we thought it was probably security and then when we heard the radios going and a, pl and a dog, we were like, oh shit, it's the police. But bear in mind, what we're doing, we're not breaking the law. Let me just emphasise that, we're not breaking the law. It's a civil trespass. It's between you and the person who owns the property. That's all.
all the police will do is ask you to leave now if you've broken in which means broken something to get in gone equipped with tools to get in damaged the property getting in or vandalized anything while you're or stole anything while you're there then you can be arrested obviously for breaking and entering which which is we which I, so i know the law i knew we wouldn't be getting arrested i knew we'd be getting escort off site but ricky obviously he didn't know this and he was <laughs> it was uh his bum hole was going uh so we went down some stairs to uh to have a look and then I, uh, the guy came busting through the door like gi joe uh we both shit a pants because I thought, I thought, oh, it's police. I knew I was still knew we weren't going to get arrested, but uh, with the way he come through the door, the way he was acting, the dog, the way he was dressed, everything rang policeman. Because you know, you see like first impression. I thought, oh fucking hell, it is the police. And it went till I got outside and had a look at him and realised, oh, he's not uh, not the police. He's a security officer, but he's obviously a pretty hardcore. And uh, I'll let you watch on anyway. You might get a letter, you might not, depends on NKDCR. That's all we do, we just find the information to them, say, look, these guys are on our site. And that is it. That's fine, yeah. Right, so Appreciate you, it. I'm not if you do go on your sites and that, just go, oh, shit, don't bother going there. Yeah, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll put it on video, yeah. don't bother going. Two vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> We've only been to Lincolnshire once before, haven't we? You get caught? No, we, we went, went to, to an abandoned church. church. The abandoned church. Most haunted church is supposed to be. Yeah, most haunted church. Yeah, most church. Um, it's the middle of a field, isn't it? What are it called? It's right on the coast. It's not Temple Brewer. Oh, right, there's another one at Temple Brewer. St. Bolt's. Bolt's. Yeah, St. Bolt's, yeah. The one oh, yeah. at Temple Brewer, right, if you get these lay thingies and you go into the centre of the tower, oh, they've got a cross on the floor, which is where all the spirit lines cross. Right in the centre of the church tower. What's it called? I don't know. Oh, oh, it's still good worshipping, isn't it? Oh, is, is it not open then? So it's in Lincolnshire, so we can't. But you can go around the grounds in that and you'll you'll be able to tell. Because right? there's a few on the map that we're going to look at on the way back. Yeah, we're not so going to have a look. We might have a look at some churches, we'll not be going in any buildings. Yeah, we won't go in any buildings there, because you're the second ones we caught today, because we had a... What are you? Yeah, we had a couple of kids in as well, they were on late. See, I can understand kids, because the kids are just... You know, they're it's like Mike. More like to get injured. Mark said, what ages are they? Hmm. Late 30s, early 40s, you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Good men doing it. We don't we don't go out very often. He goes out a lot more than me. I've got kids and that, so I don't really go out very often. This is the first time I've been out in what two months yeah. with you. <laughs> Make it up. You'll not be coming anymore. I'm not going up. Could you? Uh, you don't like, tell your missus because you'll not be a bit like that again. He's like, what's actually just happened? I'm at the front. He's at the back with it. Well, he's at the front. I'm at the back with the torch and the dog. You're like, where the fuck did these lot come from? <laughs> I was. I have sat down there for five minutes, just waiting for him to come in through the gate and go to the back. And we, were gonna we're jump back we were going to jump back out for all we came through. Cause yeah, the no, I, was, I was part of that. And uh, I said to yeah, him, no, just wait, because we'll hop in the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me the door open. I went, no, I don't let's stop. Yeah, I'm not going to climb through a back through a hole, I've just created. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Hard, hard enough to get back, <laughs> hard enough to get in through it. <laughs> yeah, so how did you get in? That's the question. How did you through get in? Through that hole. Come on, let's have a look. Let me show you. We'll make it to the next lot not to get in. How did the kids we walked down field here basically, and then there's there's a pathway yeah, through there the bushes one, there. Yeah. And then there's a piece of fence here that's bent down with no barbed wire on it. So we just literally jumped over that. That bit there? 
No, did you see the passive infrared detector, did you? No. Is that what that is? No, that's, that's a, a motor activated camera, but you've also set off a small. Yeah, so if that doesn't trigger, we've got an alarm further down, that triggers. So we've got you on both. So you're, you're pretty close, you must live close to here then, to like get here that yeah. quick. You've not been in there long, haven't we? Yeah. 10 minutes, 15 minutes? It's a steady job, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Don't call 24 hours, but. We're, we're there. He'll hide in the dark here. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. Don't we? We pass up in the dark and we hide, don't we? We had one where there's a couple. Take it up. There's a couple. Mark, anyway. You shit us out, mate. There's a couple around the back there. They're all looking at the building. Oh, it's a GoPro one. Just get me on camera. Oh, fuck. And the dog went. Famous. He's like, get on the ground. They're all like, fuck. We just literally passed it off. It's not coppers. We're all through a window then. And then when he comes through the door, it is coppers. That is fucking scary, what you did. just don't know. Obviously, you're doing your job, but it's funny because when I go in abandoned buildings, I'll go, Please, with my dog. It's as if there's any, any hobos in there. I don't say that, but <laughs> as you can tell by him now, he's uh, it's how they are. Please, I'm going just bark, 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 bark. So, they're trained to the same standard, yeah. yeah. So, when we're if in, you can tell, well, we, we have more, excuse me, we have more time to train them than the police do. Yeah, Obviously, of course. police only do like one. One, once a month for like two days or something, you know, ours are constantly training, so. Just said to him, I thought we'd found some sort of mafia hideout or something with beds. With the beds. Oh, what the beds, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> like, been hiding, <laughs> beds, hiding people in there or something. It did confuse us, didn't it? <laughs> I bet you were like, oh, yeah. It's I'll actually like, down, it's eh? an Albanian yeah. holding cell. That's what we thought, we thought this, it's like a prison. <laughs> we walked around, Sam went, you could use it, you know, if it was safe, they could use this to house Oh yeah, the people sleep. I, I hate people. I, I hate going in there because you just don't know what's going to fall on you. Well, I won't come in there again. <laughs> Not in a million years. I think we'll see we'll enough. Do, we'll, I'll board that up later. We'll bring out the tools and board it back up. Yeah, we haven't cut anything or got nothing with us. Only the camera. Well, we've searched yeah. the building anyway, so you've not discarded anything. Yeah, the dogs will track you, see so if you've got something that you've discarded recently. Yeah. Don't track. I think yeah. it was more after the fucking dead pigeons. Probably. So there's a lot of fishing shit in there, you'll be able to sell that. Piles are in. Well, I've just finished my workout, look. That's what it's in. My watch. Where could your little workout is? I just burnt 133 calories. Jeez. What did you do? <laughs> Fart? <laughs> so we're going out the main entrance. Yeah, you're going out the safe way. Yeah, please. That's all we open anyway. Thanks for being so understanding, guys. Yeah, anyway. No worries, guys. You take care, yeah? Yeah, we will. You never know where we are. Check out our channel, WD40 Ghost Hunting. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, thanks. Come on in there. Welcome to the Ghost Hunting. Hey, he had one a couple of weeks ago. They took a photograph from the dog outside and said, whatever you do, don't fucking go in it, because you meet him and the dog. You didn't listen to that one, did you? I've been videoing all the time, so it's, we'll put some bits of it in. Yeah, we'll tell people not to. Uh, don't go in here, guys. As you can see, they don't fuck about. <laughs> Take care, gentlemen. Thank you, Matt. Good luck to you, Sunday. Take care. We got water water around there. Yeah. I'll have to do that to get arrested that damn thing. Who ain't gonna get arrested? <laughs> you yeah, end up there just like the car. No, don't worry, don't tell Stacey. Oh, I'm told already. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to Brendan, I love hey, you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Please visit I'm there. Like, That's what might, he said. <laughs> I said to her, we might be getting arrested. Try to trace it. Out there. So we, we might be getting arrested. Don't panic, I said. <laughs> Dick it. That's just that panicking. So after a bit of back and forth and of them saying, oh, you've done this, you've broken the law, you've come, what do you call mass trespass is, is, is a cr cr crime and all this, which it's not, it's talking bollocks. <laughs> they're, putting, they're putting the fear of God in you. End of the day, what you've got to remember is these guys don't know what they're walking into. All they know is two guys have gone in this building. They don't know if we've got guns, if we're going to stab him, if we're going to run away, if we're going to attack him, anything like that, you know. They don't know us, they don't know what they're walking into, so they go in, guns blazing, for the simple purpose of protecting themselves. Uh, which is, they did a great job, I, I'll admit, they were really, uh, they were really good at what they did. Uh, but we complied with them fully, we didn't give any grief, 
we didn't, didn't deny anything we just said we're not broken yeah we know, we know our rights basically we knew they won't they, won't. they were saying oh police are coming police are coming i'm like i didn't think the police were going to come uh they could have rung the police and the police would have turned up and i escorted checked that we weren't breaking in and doing any of that bollocks and they would have just escorted us off site and probably told us not to come back uh, but after talking with these guys for a bit they come around they were then they were fine with us as you'll see in the video uh, we had a laugh with them uh, chatted with them a bit you know uh, and they were the good guys they were nice guys uh, they could have been dicks about it get off my wasp could have been dicks about it they could have phoned police and all that but they know the same as we do that it's not going to achieve anything uh, so yeah it was nice of them just to and then have a, a chat with them. They weren't dicks with us all the way through. They, they did the job. They did a good, bloody good job. If I ever need security, I'm going to phone Aurora. Uh, they were really intense. Uh, yeah, so they escorted us off site. Uh, it was an experience for Ricky. I think he'd, he shit his pants more than I did. Uh, I think he, he didn't expect, uh, you know, he thought, he thought oh, fucking hell, going to prison here. <laughs> Which we definitely weren't. Uh, but yeah, that's what happens when a place is secure with security. This, see, we did it on a whim. We didn't know that it wasn't. Uh, we didn't know it was that heavily guarded. But we, this is a problem. If you're going to do urban exploring, do your research. Know where you're going. Know what to expect. We didn't. We just saw this place. Thought, oh, we'll go in there. Big mistake. <laughs> we'll not be going back anyway. But you learn, you know. And no, I'm done. Uh, one of the main reasons there is such heavy security on the place is one for vandalism obviously but mainly because it's inherently dangerous uh, as you can imagine so yeah that's about it really it was uh, it was an experience a bit of a failed explore but yeah thanks for watching guys isn't having a big fucking dog in your face is it Ah, one in my face. Ricky was shitting his pants. <laughs> yeah. like, I can't get arrested. I've got a boyfriend to go into. Oh, like it's all him. You're him. Ah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I'd let you know, just in case people didn't come or anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. They just said you can't explore in Lincolnshire anymore. We get get a letter through the post. Did, did you give me a real address? I gave him your address. I gave him. I gave him a fake one. <laughs> I gave him next door's address. <laughs> yeah. We've not been in there long. Oh, it's all gated today. So like this place is completely bridge. secure. Like. As you can see, look, there's Old Way Bridge. We were like, oh, this is cool, there's no cameras. Climbed over like a barbed wire fence where the barbed wire was like slightly missing. Climbed over there. And uh, climbed through the tiniest fucking hole to get in. And we made it up to the bottom floor. It's fucking huge. We made it up to the top floor, didn't we? It's, yeah, the thing is, like you just said, you can't prove that you've broken it. We were completely honest. We're like, we haven't broken in at all. We just literally just climbed a fence that had already been sniffed. <coughs> anyway, and everyone ain't eating or not. Oh, oh, yes, you are. Here they come driving past. To be fair, they're good at what they do because <laughs> we thought we were pretty, so that like, shall we? Uh, Intense. <laughs> Yeah, if you're on security for a property, yeah, get Aurora. <laughs>